Hey, it's Lucy. I've been doing a PhD in Earth Sciences for nearly two years now, and suffice to say, it hasn't always gone smoothly. And with more and more people talking about the behind the scenes of academia, with the failures that they don't talk about, with the rejections that nobody mentions, I thought it'd be a fun idea to make a video about my five biggest failures in my PhD so far. So here they are in no particular order. Number one, the time I was just finishing my first set of experiments and then contaminated them all with oxygen. I work in sealed glove boxes where Earth's air is pumped out and a mix of hydrogen and nitrogen is pumped in, and that's to better simulate the atmosphere on Mars so I can create minerals that you'd find on Mars. And I was feeling all like a proper scientist, look at me, I've just finished my first set of experiments, and then I forgot to check if my airlock was purged and just opened the door into my experiments and all of that oxygenated air just rushed right in. Thankfully no one else's samples were in the glove box at the time, so it was only my work that got ruined, but I would never have known if they were oxygenated or not, so I pulled them down the sink. That turned out to be a not a big deal mistake because I just repeated the experiment, I did it way more efficiently and effectively, and I will certainly never make that mistake ever again. <laughs> Take home messages, stuff happens and you get over it. Number two, the time I took a year up before starting my PhD, but left it until a month before starting to write my masters up as a paper. This comes down to generic bone idleness and I am ashamed of myself. I got the paper submitted just after I started, but it was utterly rejected, which I've made a video about. Took another six months to work up the courage to start writing again, then it was accepted, yay, with major revisions, which had to then be done around my PhD, so just absolute hassle. For a PhD, you need to be solely focused on the task at hand, so just get any previous tasks out of the way before starting. Number three, the time I took on way too many side projects at once. At one point I was, in no particular order, writing that paper, writing short stories, filming for this channel, giving talks in schools, designing and supervising a simulated Mars sample return mission, organising field trips for a local geological society, oh, and doing my PhD somewhere in there too. Taking on side projects has been great for developing skills that I otherwise wouldn't get to develop in my PhD, but I am here to do a PhD and nothing should jeopardise that. Mistake number four, I missed a high five with my supervisor. I'd finally synthesized my Fairlight, whereat the machine that told us the purity 100% came out and he went to high five me and I sort of overshot and grazed his fingertips. That right there was the bonding moment. That was the moment I would have ceased to have been awkward student and I would have become fellow researcher and I just threw it all away. My fifth big mistake is one I think about all the time and I think it's gonna haunt me for ages. There's this NASA internship for graduate planetary geologists and I was on the cusp of applying. I was so excited. I told my supervisor more to tell him that I was doing it than to ask permission, but he strongly discouraged me from going for it. This is because it would have been eight weeks out of my PhD and even though I can suspend my status for a term, he argued that it would have gotten me out of the flow of things. But it was NASA. It doesn't get better than that for a planetary geologist. I should have stood up for myself, I think. I should have presented my reasons better for why I wanted to go, and maybe I should have just gone for it anyway. <sighs> so those are the five biggest mistakes of my PhD so far, but I've also got some things right, like getting past all of those mistakes and all of the little ones as well. Just like how on Facebook you only ever see perfect holiday photos and never the unwashed hair first thing in the morning, in academia you see tweet after tweet about papers being accepted and grant proposals getting passed, but you don't see the pile of rejections that are lining up on the desk. So please tell me, what is the biggest mistake of your PhD so far? Tell me in the comments, tell me on Twitter, tell your colleagues, start a conversation. You can't be an academic without failing, so let's start talking about it. Thank you for watching, and if you like what you see, please subscribe or check out my other videos for more PhD-related content. My name's Lucy Kizik, this is the PH Diaries, and take care until next time.